Praise the Lord. We began a topic on uh, the power of expectation. The power of ex expectation. Amen. I want us to pick it from there. The power of expectation. Amen. We said life is full of expectations. Life is full of expectation. If you keep expecting wrong things in life, that is what you'll get out of life. If you keep expecting bad things, that's what you get. If you keep on expecting positive results, that's what you'll get. Every man's expectation is what will manifest at the end. Every man's expectation is what will manifest at the end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 24 verse 13 and 14. He says, my son, Eat honey, for it is sweet. He says, for thy expectation shall not be cast. Say, my son, thou eat honey because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. Verse 14, he says, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. God does not do away with the expectation. The same way God answers prayer, the same way God answers expectation. Bible says in Proverbs 23, verse 18, it says, surely there shall be an end and the expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. You are only a product of your expectation. What you expect is what you receive. Expectation determines manifestation. What you expect determines what God gives you. What happens to you is expectation determined. What you see or experience is expectation determined. What you get out of life is because of what you have been expecting. Nothing comes to you if you didn't expect it. Any miracle you don't expect, God can't give you. Any breakthrough you're expecting, God can't give you. Any success you don't expect, God can't give you. Praise the Lord. It is what you expect that God gives to you. I pray every expectation you had this year, may the Lord answer them in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Your expectation in life is very key. There are people out of bad experiences. They have very bad expectations. Amen. Out of their past experience. What they expect from life is, there's nothing good they expect from life. It is true. There's a way you can go through challenges. You can go through battles, experiences that you, you are not seeing anything good happening. Failure is not a person. Failure is a life event. It will pass. Failure is not a person. Failure is a life's event. It's something that happens in life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's very important you know that there's expectation that God answers. What do you expect from the Lord? When there's no expectation, circumstances remain the same. When there's no expectation, circumstances remain the same. Anyone that does not expect to succeed, you can never succeed. Anyone that does not expect to succeed in life will never succeed. You can never succeed. Success is not a fluke. What makes you a successful person, apart from hard work, is your expectation. You expect to succeed. Say amen. Say a better amen. Your expectation is the mother of manifestation. It's vital to take delivery of God's word as he said. It is very important you, 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 
you take the delivery of God's word. What God has said, you take it. Then you see it work. What you receive is as a result of what you've been expecting. God gives you what you've been expecting. Acts chapter 3 verse 5. Peter, uh, Peter and the, the, the creeper man at the beautiful gate. He said, look at us. And Bible says, he looked at them expecting to receive something. Acts 3, 5. They looked and he gave heed unto them expecting to receive something of them. The next verse says, then Peter said, silver and gold have we none, but such as we have we given to thee. The next thing is, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. He was expecting something. Not necessarily money, but he had an, he had an expectation. That is what God answered. In life, God answers expectations. Say amen. God answers expectation. What you don't expect, he will never give. May God give you expectations in Jesus' name. Lack of expectation will bring frustration. Lack of expectation will bring frustration. Expectation is so powerful that it determines what you get out of life. Amen. Hallelujah. What you get out of life is as a result of expectation. Amen. So we began talking about what are some of the reasons why people have low expectation or negative expectation. Why, what are some of the reasons why people have low expectation or negative expectation? And one of them is unpleasant past experiences. The things you have gone through before. He said, if this was it, how can it become better? Bad past experiences. There are people who cannot succeed because of what they went through. There are people who have seen failure. There's a guy who was telling me that uh, there are those that God created to struggle. And there are those that God created to succeed. It is a mentality. It's not true. Are we together? So him, because he's struggling, he believes it is his portion in life. There are those that God blesses because of the expectation. He said, surely your expectation shall not be cut off. Surely. No matter what, your expectation will not be cut off. So what you expect is what you receive. So negative past experiences have made many people to have wrong or bad expectations. That is why if God is to start with anyone, according to Isaiah 14, 43 verse 19, it says, forget the former things. Behold, I do a new thing. Don't allow the past to affect your future. God can do anything new any day. God can do a new thing any day, any time. Your past does not determine your future. As I said, failure is not a person. It's a life event. Amen. Praise the Lord. God specializes in doing new things. He said, though Micah chapter 7, I believe verse 8, he says, laugh not at me, O my enemies, when I am down, for the Lord will pick me up. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. When I am down, don't laugh at me. You don't know when God will turn this thing around. I pray, may God turn things around. Say, so may God turn things around for you. Second thing that makes people have negative expectation is attitude. Very wrong attitude. There are people who believe it is somebody who has made them, their suffering is because of someone. In John chapter 5, from verse number 5, Jesus met a man at the bull of Bethesda and the man had an attitude. Jesus told him, do you want to be made whole? He said, there's nobody to throw me into the water. Nobody is answerable to your failure or your success. Nobody. You, you, you don't put your issue 
on someone. You can succeed and you can still fail. Even those who have been raised in the best of family can fail. Agar was the son of Solomon. The boy saw how workers were sweeping out gold. I would say gold was dust, like dust in Jerusalem. Agar saw the father extremely wealthy. But Agar is praying a prayer of a stupid man. Say, God, don't give me too much. Then I say, with God, don't give me too little. Then I, no. So the same man I spent like, say, give me enough. That is a man that does not have anything. For him to ask for enough, he hasn't, doesn't have anything. Yet he saw the father very wealthy. May God prosper you. So what happens is there are so many people today who put their failure or their issues on people. Your attitude determines your altitude. Your attitude about life. Usiwai kasirika. When God is blessing people, it is not your, their fault. If I eat chicken and you eat greens, it's not my fault you're eating greens. It's not my fault. So don't die for me. There are people who will mama and complain because others are doing better. Oh yeah, mind your own. Thank you. Ah! Why is he like this? He's only a poor man that plans for a rich man's money. Say, if I had what he had, I would do this. You don't have, leave it. He, whatever he's doing with his money is his life. Attitudes. Life can be hard because of negative attitudes. Are you hearing me? There are people who have a negative life because of the negative attitude. When people succeed, you feel bad. Even you, you are added towards yourself, your life, people around you, so negative. You cannot succeed with a negative attitude. When the children of Israel were going to Canaan, and the Bible says, Moses sent spices. He said, go and check the land. They came back and said, ah, that land is very good. Yeah, the fruits. Hey, but we cannot survive there. The sons of the Anax are there. Who are like grasshopper. God said, those ones who sold themselves, put them aside. And they were put aside. And bam, God killed them. Why? Attitude. He said, if they go with these people, if the Israelites hear this, their hearts will melt. They will fear. Caleb said, hey, Caleb said, shut up. We are more than able. Let's go against them. The Lord is on our side. And then, God said, separate for me Caleb and Joshua, for they have a different spirit. The word spirit is attitude. They have the belief they can, we can take the city. But there are some people here who are so negative. Say, these people were like grasshopper. The sons of the Anax, the giants are living there. Because they, these ones that are negative, put them aside. Let me deal with them. God cannot answer a prayer of a negative person. Never in life. There are people who in their life, where they are stagnant, is because of the negative attitude. Very negative. There's nothing good you see until you're angry with those who are doing well. We used to have a teacher, we used to ask people, when you smile, why are you smiling? He was always gloomy, always rough. So I used to sit with the bad boys. If you smile, the teacher will deal with you. Say, so why are you laughing? What is that to laugh about? Say, so, but teacher, I'm happy. Happy for what? So you used to be angry that you're smiling. <laughs> there are people here in this church who don't smile. So anything that should bring you laughter, God will never bring it. Oh yeah? Sometimes, it's, Bible says, one day Jesus sat down and, say, and he laughed and said, thank you, Jesus. For these things, you have not revealed to everyone but to babes. Jesus laughed. In Psalm chapter 2, he that seated on the heavens shall laugh. God has sense of humor. Learn to laugh. Amen. Learn to rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. James chapter 1 verse 2. Count it all joy my brothers when you go through diverse tests. Count it joy. Don't be sad about it. Oh, things are not working. Life is hard. Rejoice. This is my policy. What I cannot change does not affect me. 
What I don't have will not bother me. I will not die because I don't have it. God will bring it. And if God has seen it fit not to give me now, he knows the right time to give me. At the appointed time, he will give it to me. Are you hearing me? Don't die. This life is too small. Amen. Bad, bad attitude. When you see somebody who is doing so well, you're angry. You're bitter. You don't greet them. I don't want you to smart. You go smart. You know very well. You're just bitter. Sit with the wise and you shall be wiser. And the companion of fools shall be destroyed. I don't like people who are not happy. Every second your life is moving. Are you hearing me? Every second is to be enjoyed. Amen. Amen. Have an attitude that God will bless you. He says all things work together for good. For them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Have a good attitude about life. One day, Itainuka. One day, my doors will open. One day, things will be better. And those that God has helped, celebrate them. When people do well around you, celebrate them. That attitude will make God remember you. Imagine if Joseph could have said, you Bakla, you Baker, I will not interpret. I know, I will not. He could have remained there. Attitude. I know life is hard, but what is your attitude? Attitude. Amen. Attitude is key. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse number 3. Say, talk no more proudly. Give it to me. First Samuel chapter 2 verse, two, verse, verse 3. He says, talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let no arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. Actions. Attitudes. What is your attitude? There are people who will never say anything good out of life. Never. That is why they believe anyone that succeeds is the hand of the devil. People that have an issue when others succeed cannot succeed. What you fight, you will never attract. Anything you fight, are you hearing me? Anything you fight, you will never attract. Anyone you fight will never be your friend. Praise the Lord. I appreciate people who succeed. Okay, man of God, these are, are, are worshiping the devil. You that is worshiping the Lord, you're still struggling. Okay, he's not genuine. Okay, you that is genuine, show us the results. May God help somebody here. Change your attitude about life. Change it. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised at what God will do. Because number one, he will give you peace. He will give you joy. I was like, unspeakable joy, full of grace. He will give you joy. There are people who don't have the, they are, they are happy. No happiness can end after a season. But joy of the Lord. The Bible says, with joy, you shall draw from the wells of salvation. Why is salvation boring? You have no joy. Do you know just waking up is enough? Right? Just waking up. You know as I'm walking, there's nothing in my body that, no, everything is fine. Joy. You see, your word was the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Attitude. About people, about life, about success, about prosperity. Attitude. Amen. Bible says for it, without faith, it's impossible to please him. And he that comes to God must believe. Have an attitude that must be that he is and is the rewarder of them that seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6. There are people who don't believe. They have an attitude. How sure am I that God will do it? Amen. All things work together for good. For them that love the Lord. Have an attitude. And when your neighbor does well, celebrate them genuinely. Are you hearing me? Celebrate them. 
Look for an occasion to celebrate them. Tell them, wow, that's nice. That your hair style. Ata kama na nyuele. Mambia tu, malimanzia. You look wonderful. Hallelujah. Say, my father, in the name of Jesus, if I have a bad, a, a negative attitude concerning life, concerning you, concerning people, I ask in Jesus' name, change my attitude. In Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray.